Hi, I'm Leanne with Leanne and Michelle, and it's time for volume two of our Enneagram collection. Today, we're gonna take a look at everybody's favorite peacemaker, mediator. You know I'm talking about the Enneagram nine today. Wasn't a perfect fit in the song, but I am excited to be showing some of the favorites of the Enneagram nine. Man, who doesn't love a nine? We're gonna watch the nine go through some of the more important calendar days of the year, including Valentine's Day, and ending with some just like really questionable holiday gifts in December. And if you stay tuned all the way to the end, I will explain why I make some of the acting choices that I do for the Enneagram nine. And we would love to have you stick around and subscribe for some more funny content. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, flowers or chocolate, gosh, either. Whatever you've got time for is totally fine with me. Don't go out of your way. If you're driving by a gas station on the way home and they've got Russell Stovers, just grab it. That's good with me. Oh, please. I'm sorry. Please don't ask me where I want to go to dinner. This was kind of a whole thing last year. My husband kept asking me where I wanted to go and I kept saying, I just want to go where you want to go. And he said, no, I want to go where you want to go. And those are the most aggressive words I've ever heard. I legitimately want whatever it is you want to get me. That sounds perfect. Whatever you're thinking of, don't say it. Think it, hold it here. That's what I want. What you just thought. What I really want for Mother's Day is a pair of AirPods. Um, and I, you know, I don't want to be bossy or demanding. So I've just been leaving little trail of crumbs around hoping my husband will pick up on it. I, I put apple slices in his lunch every day. I've been making him a lot of apple frittatas. And then last night, since Mother's Day is getting really close, I just taped a picture of AirPods to my forehead and I hoped he would see it when he woke up. But he'll probably get me tickets to a show. He's such a freaking seven or something. I just want to make sure everybody gets along. You know, there's a lot of uh, togetherness in the summertime so the kids can get a little Kind of makes me die inside when they do that. You know, we're just gonna go with the flow. We'll kind of see what the kids are up for. Um, maybe some activities, maybe not. Although my husband's probably gonna wanna go kayaking in the Adirondacks again. He's such a freaking seven. This is fine. This is going to be just so very fine. I understand the perspective of the school districts, of course. And I fully understand the perspective of the parents. I understand. Just blanket understanding. Blanket. Schooling from home is going to be a lot of together time, which is fine and wonderful. We're instituting what I call 10 to Zen. Every hour, we all just kind of float away from each other for 10 minutes, refill the peace tank. I think homeschool would flow a lot more easily if my husband uh, didn't insist on showing up in Revolutionary War costumes and reenacting parts of the musical Hamilton to try to contribute to our children's history lesson, thereby interrupting my curriculum and my time and the lesson plan that I actually worked really hard on. He is such a freaking seven. It's fine. The thing to remember about Thanksgiving is that arguments can start at any time. There's politics, for goodness sake. There's Grandpa Wilbur's estate this year to go over. Uh, Uncle Brian forgot his side dish, and now we don't have a vegetable. Someone developed a gluten allergy and didn't tell me. But this year I have a really good strategy. When things start to heat up, I have a way to cool it right down. We are the world, we are the children, we are the ones to make a brighter day, so let's start. I like games where people don't get hurt, physically or emotionally. He got us uh, a day at some kind of like a paintball, um, like an emporium of sorts. Uh, you go and you put on a suit and apparently you fire at one another. That sounds wonderful. I mean, I'm supposed to take one of these, what, like a paint blaster? I don't know what it is, a slingshot? And fire it at my baby boy and my husband? My daughter? I mean, my family who I love more than anyone in the world, and they, in turn, shall fire back at me? 
This is fun for whom? He's such a freaking seven, you guys. Not all nines are introverted, but they, a lot of them tend to skew that way. They love escaping into a good nap or diversion and procrastination, which I am all for. And also the like, the high need for the opposite of conflict. That's the hallmark of the nine. You are at enmity with enmity. It was very four of me to say enmity where conflict would have done, but enmity is a way more dramatic word. So my favorite thing about nines is their desire for peace, which is just at its core. And when a person is healthy, that is like such a pure and beautiful thing. Quietly stubborn secretly very opinionated. Those still waters running so deep. I love that nines sort of intuitively meet people's needs and generally they don't really want, or if they, maybe they don't want, it's not that they don't want the credit, they don't take the credit for it. Maybe they do want the credit sometimes and they wish people would just give them the credit without having to ask for the credit because asking for credit would be confrontational. I love nines. I see her uh, in general as being deferential to the people around her, but I had to separate her from the two. Initially, I think I played her very close to the two and that obviously wasn't gonna work. And so what I ended up doing was um, swallowing up her voice just a little bit. She, um, she smiles, but she's, she's smiling through the, through the pain. Um, she doesn't wanna be too loud because, um, because that's counter to what she's practiced her whole life, which is don't uh, take up too much space with your ideas and uh, your opinions. She's almost apologizing for talking. It's like a, a whisper shout. There is nothing like a healthy nine to just bring harmony to situations.